हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फेयर्स क्लाउ लर्न टू लीड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल दी स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड दी जुलाई मंथ करंट फेयर्स एंड वी कंप्लीटेड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द टॉपिक्स एंड टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज सबमिट्स कॉन्फ्रेंसेस एंड कमेटीज एंड दिस इज द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द जुलाई मंथ सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल लास्ट बिकॉज दिस सेक्शन इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेशली फॉर द बैंकिंग स्टूडेंट्स But first of all, you have to download our application Careers Cloud from the Google Play Store. After that, log in with your email ID. Then click on this Crack Current Affairs section to subscribe our Current Affairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low. But the most important thing, what we are covering under this one year and the two year subscription, we are providing you daily section. In the daily section, you will receive three things. One is the detailed Current Affairs. Second is the question and answer format of Current Affairs. But both will be provided in the form of PDF or in the form of ebook. And third is the quiz section and this can be attempted only on our application on daily basis next is the weekly section again we are providing three things one is the detail current fair second is the question and answer format but both things will be provided in the pdf format and third is the quiz section which you can attempt on our application on weekly basis next is the monthly section and in the monthly section we are providing you four type of pdfs one is the detail current fair pdf which is known as study pdf next all the detail current affairs will be converted in the form of question and answer that's why it is known as question and answer pdf so that you can revise all the current affairs in the question and answer format next is the best 100 current affairs will be provided that is also provided in the form of question and answer and last is the pocket pdf it means one liner two liner or the three liners current affair will be provided to you so that you can revise these current affairs very quickly before your exam next is topic wise current fair this is very important section because we are providing 20 most important topic wise pdf if you want to revise one or two particular topics then you can use this topic wise pdf if you are a banking student then we are providing three things one is detail second is question and answer format of current affairs but only related to banking and economy and third is the quiz section it is also only related to banking and economy and you can attempt this quiz section only on our application on monthly basis next is exam pdf if you want to cover all the current affairs before your exam of particular year then you can use this exam pdf next is special current affairs section in the special current affairs we are providing you budget and economic survey two things we are providing one is detail budget and economic survey second is question and answer format of budget and economic survey it means you can recall that examiner can make these type of questions from budget and economic survey if you are preparing for your respective state exam then we are also providing state current affairs and we are covering every state and union territory so all these things comes under only one subscription first of all you have to just download our application careers cloud then click on this crack current affairs section and you can subscribe for one year as well as for two years and if you want 10% extra discount then you can use this code ash10 if you have any query then you can email us on this email id or you can call us on this number So let's start submit conferences and committees this section is very important so watch this video till last and here is the first question under this section which of the following points are correct with respect to the united nation ocean conference 2022 so the keyword here is ocean conference 2022 and we have to find out the correct statement so let's read the statement the united nation ocean conference 2022 was co-hosted by the governments of Libya and Portugal so this statement is wrong because it is not co-hosted by the government of Libya it is co-hosted by the government of Kenya and Portugal and it was held from 27th of June to 1st of July 2022 and it was held in Lisbon this is very important it was held at Lisbon so a statement is wrong Union Minister Dr Jitendra Singh Minister of State independent charge of the Ministry of Science and Technology and Earth Sciences attended the United Nation Ocean Conference 2022 this is very very important and remember it was held in Lisbon Portugal so B statement is true and 2022 United Nation Ocean Conference proposed the blue deal which would enable the sustainable use of ocean resources for the economic growth again this statement is very much true so C statement is true So the United Nation Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO launched its Key State of the Ocean Report 2022 and this is the pilot edition of this report you can also remember that UNESCO released one report and name of this report is Ocean Report 2022 so uh, only correct statement are B and C it means answer of this question is only B and C so you can see here this is United Nation Ocean Conference kicks off in lisbon portugal 
from 27th of June to 1st of July. Moving to next question. In July 2022, Union Minister of Fisheries, Animal Spendry and Daring, Prashottam Rupala ji, inaugurated the Dash India Animal Health Summit 2022, which was held in New Delhi. And this is the first edition. That's why this question is very important. Fourth is the answer. So, Union Minister of Fishery, Animal Spendry and Dairy, Prashottam Rupala ji, inaugurated the first India Animal Health Summit 2022, which was held in New Delhi. And it is for the greater use of Ayurveda for ensuring better animal health. And the India Animal Health Summit 2022 was organized by two organizations. One is Indian Chamber of Food and Agriculture, which is ICFA. I'm writing here ICFA and Agriculture Today Group. Agriculture Today Group. And the awards will be presented in the different categories to individuals and the organizations for outstanding contribution in their respective field. And the award function was held on 7th of July 2022 in New Delhi. So just remember, this is the first edition of India Animal Health Summit 2022 and exact places New Delhi. Next is, which of the following points are correct with respect to the National Conference of the State Agriculture and Horticulture Ministers Conference held in July 2022? So we have to find out the correct statement about the National Conference of the State Agriculture and Horticulture Ministers. So first statement is the National Conference of the State Agriculture and Horticulture Ministers Conference was held in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. This statement is wrong. This was not held in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. This was held in Bengaluru, Karnataka. Remember Bengaluru, Karnataka and it was organized by the Department of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare. This is true. So, first statement is wrong because it was held in Bengaluru, Karnataka, not in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Next is the Union Minister Narendra Singh Tomarji launched the ENAM or the National Agriculture Market platform of platforms to promote the trade and marketing of the agriculture produce. This statement is very much true. So, second is true statement and uh, it is uh, especially to promote trade and marketing of agriculture produce for getting better prices of agriculture commodities to the farmers. Next is an equity grant of over 37 crore was also released to 1,018 farmer producer organization that will benefit about 3.5 lakh farmers. And the Union Minister Narendra Singh Tomarji also released a coffee table book showcasing the endeavor and journey of the ENAM or the National Agriculture Market. Third statement is also true. It means the correct statements are only two and three. So answer of this question is five. So you can see here e-national agriculture market launched by Narendra Singh Tomalji. Moving to next question. Which of the following points are correct with respect to the first I2U2 leaders virtual summit of 2022? This is very important question because we are talking about first I2U2 leaders. What is the meaning of I2? I2 stands for India, Israel. U2 stands for UA and United States of America. So let's read out the statements and find out the correct statement. The first virtual summit of India, Israel, UAE and United States of America dubbed as I2U2, first I2U2 leaders virtual summit 2022 was hosted by Israel caretaker Prime Minister Yair Lepid. So this statement is true because the summit was organized while Biden was in Israel as a part of the maiden trip to the West Asia as president of the US and it was hosted by the Israel caretaker Prime Minister Yair Lepid. Next is, during the summit, UAE has announced an investment of $2 billion to develop a series of integrated food park across India to address rising demand in South and the West Asia. This statement is also true. It means $2 billion investment will be done through UAE and it is to develop a series of integrated food parks across India. Next is, US also announced a hybrid renewable energy project in Dwarka area of the Gujarat state, India that consists of 300 megawatts of wind and solar power and it is also supplemented with a battery energy storage technology. This is also true but all the points are very much important. So answer of this question is all A, B, C. One is the answer. So remember this is I2, U2 summit and you can see here this is Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This is UA Supreme Leader Joe Biden you can see here and this is Yaya Lapid. Moving to next question. 
in july 2022 the government of armenia and the government of india signed a memorandum of understanding on the high impact community development projects during the 8th session of india armenia intergovernmental commission so in which city of armenia the 8th session of india armenia intergovernmental commission was held and this was held in yerevan so answer of this question is 3 so this is the 8th session of india armenia intergovernmental commission on trade economic scientific and technological cultural and educational cooperation and it was held in the capital city of armenia which is yerevan and the indian delegation was led by sanjay verma sanjay verma who is the secretary of under the ministry of external affairs and the mou was signed between the government of armenia and the government of india on the high impact community development projects in the country of armenia and it will be financially and technically funded by india it means india will provide the financial assistance to the armenia so that they can develop high impact community development projects in armenia so remember this move into next question which of the following points are correct with respect to the recommendations made by the 47th gst council meeting under the chairmanship of the union finance minister nirmala sitaraman ji so let's read the statement The GST Council approved an increase in the tax on the petroleum and coal bed methane to 18% from 12% earlier. So this statement is not true. This statement is wrong because earlier the tax was 5%, but now it is increased to 12%. So remember, the GST Council approved an increase in the tax on the petroleum and coal bed methane to 12% from 5% earlier. So first statement is wrong. The GST on e-waste was revised from the current five percent to eighteen percent approved by the GST Council. This statement is true. Next is the GST Council also approved an increase in the tax on LED lamps, lights, fixtures, their metal printed circuits board to eighteen percent from twelve percent earlier. This statement is also true. It means both second and third statement is true. So answer of this question is four. Moving to next question, you can also see a GST rate revised highlights of the recommendations made by the forty seven GST Council, and it was held on eighteenth of July two thousand twenty two. It means the decision will be effective after or on eighteenth of July two thousand twenty two. Name the country that was recently joined the counter narcotics working group meeting with India to discuss drug law enforcement. and this country is united states of america so four is the answer just remember the question as same as in slide a joint indo united states of america counter narcotics working group meeting was held to discuss drug law enforcement and the increase in the capture of heroin from afghanistan area from afghanistan and the indian delegation was headed by narcotics control bureau director general S N Pradhan, you can remember this name, S N Pradhan, who is currently the Director General of Narcotics Control Bureau. And the two sides also decided to establish a counter narcotics working executive group and three steering groups on the multilateral policy, regulatory coordination, law enforcement cooperation, and drug demand or the harm reduction. So this is India and United States of America. Move into next question. In July 2022 the Ministry of Defence set up an Apex committee for the performance and efficiency audit and the Apex committee will be chaired by whom this committee will be chaired by Ajay Kumar so four is the answer so the Ministry of Defence has set up an institutional mechanism consisting of an Apex committee with Defence Secretary Ajay Kumar IS officer Ajay Kumar as the chairman for conducting performance and efficiency audit of various aspect of its activities and this is a major shift from existing transaction based compliance audits to outcome based performance and efficiency audit so remember this is performance and efficiency audit this is not monetary audit performance and efficiency audit and this is set up by the ministry of defense and uh, this committee will be headed by secretary of defense ajay kumar ji Next is which of the following points are correct with respect to the G20 finance ministers and the central bank governors meeting of 2022 so let's read the statement the finance minister and the central bank governors attended the third finance minister and the central bank governor meeting of 2022 under the indonesia's G20 presidency in bali indonesia this statement is true so 
A is true statement and the aim of this G20 meeting 2022 is to facilitate a coordinated economic recovery in the face of the numerous new difficulties. Next is Nirmala Sitaraman, Union Finance Minister attended the third session of the International Financial Architecture and highlighted the need to enhance the effectiveness of the G20 common framework. This statement is also true. And uh, this uh, meeting was held in Bali, Indonesia and she specially highlighted the need to enhance the effectiveness of the G20 common framework while attending the Sustainable Finance for the Climate Transition Forum. And the Reserve Bank of India and the Bank of Indonesia signed a memorandum of understanding in Bali, Indonesia to improve mutual cooperation between the two central banks. And uh, this is specially uh, to benefit both the economies, especially by trading with both countries. And uh, this statement is also true. So it means all the statements are true. Answer of this question is A, B, C. Moving to next question. You can also see here, this is G20 Indonesia 2022. In July 2022, the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare set up a 29-member committee to make the minimum sport price more effective and transparent. And this committee will be headed by Sanjay Agarwal. So, answer of this question is second. So, the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare has set up a 29-member committee to be headed by former Agriculture Secretary Sanjay Agarwalji that will look into how to make the minimum sport price more effective and transparent and to promote zero budget based farming. And there are three posts for the representative of uh, Samyukta Kisan Morcha that uh, spearheaded the protest against the farm laws in the committee. So remember there are three posts for the representative of the Samyukta Kisan Morcha that spearheaded the protest against the farm laws in the committee. So you can see here this is 29 member panel for minimum sport price effective and transparent. So this is all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video, share this video and subscribe our channel. And you can also follow us on Instagram, on Telegram, on Facebook and on LinkedIn. But the Telegram channel link is given in the description box. You can click on that and you can join our Telegram channel. Thank you guys. Take care and bye-bye.